What is going on guys? How are we all doing? I hope we are all good indeed. So, my name is Bobo. I'm the owner of the uh, path owner of a vape shop in Liverpool called The Vapory. And one of the questions that I get asked quite a lot is me vape is spitting at me, me vape making a loud cracking noise, me vapes bubbling when I vape on it. Something that sounds a little bit like this. And not getting an awful lot of vapor out like that. The main reason why that happens to you is because your coil floods from time to time. So what that means, it means that your actual coil that goes inside your tank, it's got too much liquid on it to vaporize properly. So it's heating it up, but because it's too much liquid, it's like a good analogy to think for it is how long it takes you to boil the kettle when you've got a full liter or two of water in it. Same kind of principle, it takes a lot longer to vaporize, it takes a lot longer to heat up. So if your coil's flooded, it'll sound a little bit like that. And you'll be getting a little bit of liquid in your mouth, it might be quite hot from time to time. All round, unpleasant experience. So, the reasons why your coil floods from time to time. It's a couple of reasons. One, you're vaping at too low of a wattage. Have a little look on the side of the coil. Um, and it gives you a recommended wattage. That is if you've got a device that's a little bit like that um, and has a screen and stuff like that. You might have a device that's a little bit similar to this and it is flooding on you. It's two reasons, two main reasons why it happens. Either your coil is a little bit old, the cotton inside it deteriorated a little bit and it's letting too much juice go through into the middle of the coil. It's reason number one. You solve that by getting a new coil, to be fair. And reason number two, your liquid might be a little bit too thin and it's just flowing through um, the cotton and flooding your coil. That's another reason why it happens in kits like that. And in kits like this, your voltage might be a little bit too low. Um, and the weather really affects it as well. It's like weather that we've had quite recently, it's been really, really warm. Um, e liquid is made up of two main ingredients called vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol. Now, vegetable glycerin is really thick, it's a really, really thick substance. But once you apply a little bit of heat to that, it goes quite thin. Um, and then mixed with the propylene glycol, which is quite a thin material anyway, and the two of them becomes, becomes thinner than water. It leaks a lot when it's hot, especially if you're using thinner liquids it's for smaller devices. Um, that can be one of the reasons. And if you've got quite a bigger tank, something that's a lot taller, something maybe like that, or something else a little bit bigger, your liquid is probably a little bit too thin for that. So, to get to the overall point of the video, how to fix it. The reason how you fix it, there's a couple of ways to do it. The way I normally do it is to just blow down the mouthpiece. But, Ideally, in an ideal world, take your tank off your vape, off your mod, get a little bit of kitchen roll, and just blow down it. And I don't know if you can see that liquid just coming out there. Just do that a couple of times. Hey, you can see all that coming out. There's a lot of liquid on there. The reason why I say do it on a paper towel is because if you do that on your device, there's a good chance that it'll soak down and eventually it'll wear out your actual battery and it won't wear properly after a little bit of time. Blow it out. That should be nice and smooth again now. We'll have a little listen. So. So that is the reason why your coil is spitting at you. Sometimes it makes a loud cracking noise. And when it does that, it's because the liquid is spitting. It's like boiling, you know, pretty much. Um, and it's because, again, your coil's flooded. Either your liquid's too thin, either you're vaping it too low, or your coil just needs a change. Coils, generally speaking, last somewhere around a week and a half to two and a half weeks mark. Um, depending on how much you vape them and also if you leave a coil if you decide you get a new vape um, and you decide to leave your old vape just on the side for a little bit 
you'll still need liquid in it. You might come and pick that up a couple of days later, um, and it's fine that it's doing that on you. It's the same process. Might be a little bit different with that because the cotton will swell a little bit more, and with that, you won't get, um, you won't be able to shrink it down, so it will always be a little bit restricted, but the flooding issue will succeed. If you just blow on it, get rid of it all. It's messy. You need a lot of kitchen roll. You need a lot of kitchen roll to do what I do for a living anyway. To be fair, I go through two or three rolls of this stuff like a week, <laughs> if not more, to be fair. Currently got one, two, three, four, five of them sat below there. Um, and <laughs> go through a lot of kitchen roll. It's your best friend if you are a vapor. So yeah, that's pretty much. If you have any issues, drop it down in the comments. I'll try my very best to get back to you. Um, thank you very much for watching, my name is Bobo, we are at The Vapory, we are a lovely little vape shop based in Liverpool in Crosbury, Crosbury? We are, <laughs> my, my name is Bobo, we are The Vapory, we are a little vape shop based in Liverpool in Crosby, not too far from the beach, um, again any issues, any problems, drop it down to the comments now, I'll try my very best to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. If you found this video help by the way, don't forget to leave a little thumbs up or drop a little subscribe below. Then hit that bell notification button to keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all soon.